the weather like there? <laughs> oh, it was very terrible today. It's nice rain right now, um, but it was sunny yesterday, so that was cool. That's good. Makes up for it then, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Okay, um, so you're out there having fun. I'm sure you're doing lots of dancing because that's what you do in studios. You dance, am I right? Um, no, actually, this is acting. This oh. is acting TV show. That's no fun. Maybe it's a little fun. <laughs> that's not quite as fun as dancing. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so what do you have coming up? Like, obviously, we got our fans in the chat. What are the big mm-hmm. things coming up? that you can tell us about because like where where can we see you coming up soon and where can we hear from you again you can hear from me um you know i'll be doing some you nows and uh while i'm down here so you guys can log on and check it out there um i haven't been doing as many vlogs lately Mm. so i normally give a lot of information in those but since i will be down here without um my dad and proper recording equipment Mm. i won't be available there um but you guys can always check my website out, spencercanemusic.com, and get updates and uh, info. And if you guys text the word Kania, or no, it's just Kane now, K-A-N-E to 313131, you can get updates for me, too. Cool. So no more, no more Kaniac-ness happening? No, because it was too confusing, too confusing? like, the spell. Mm. So is, is that what your hat is for? Tell us about your hat, because you showed me that really quick. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. So cool. The cane train. Cane train. <laughs> and if you're a Kaniac, you're, like, on board the cane train. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh. Oh, see, boy. I like it. I'm like, I would never think of that, the cane train. Like, that is so cool. Like, I just see that. I'm like, that's awesome. I'm not that right. creative. See, like, I want to get a t-shirt and wear it on stage or have the dancers wear it on stage with the cane train logo on it. So, that's hopefully right. that works out. So, what made you, okay, this, I mean, here's the best question you're ever going to be asked. Why right. did you choose the old engine steam train, coal train, versus, you know, the modern day U-Bahn Electrical solar train, boat like the the um, bullet train type. Yeah, work. the bullet train. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, so that's a tough see, decision. Well, see, you can you could do the letters with an old steam engine much easier. Like a bullet train's literally like a bullet. There's like no definition to it. It's just like a rectangle that moves. And so, oh. like a steam engine, you can use like the steam part at the front or like the jaggedness, the wheels for letters. And so we just thought, hey, that's kind of cool. That's right. And, it gives it class. You feel mm. me? Yeah. You got it? The yeah. Class. Feel me? <laughs> I feel you. Feel me? Yeah. I'm picking up what you're throwing down over here. <laughs> That's, right, she is. That's right. Okay, that is awesome. Um, so we we like to talk about, you know, the important things in life besides just trains and why right. that train versus another. Uh, we have a video we want to show about bullying, but tell us a little bit about it. I mean, this is something you've experienced personally, and I know we've yep. talked about it a few times, but tell us a little bit more. Um, one of the Kind is my song based around bullying, and, uh, you know, it's just, it was really important to me to write a song about bullying with many reasons that you guys will see in the video for Kenya clip. Um, but, you know, I just, I feel like a lot of people can relate because of how difficult bullying can be and how hard and miserable it can make you feel sometimes and so um i that's why i wrote the song and why uh i have a campaign about it be one of the kind and uh talk to schools and so it's just it's kind of like a huge like bundle in itself besides Mm -hmm. the rest of my music so um the clip will talk a lot about what it means and what the song means and why i wrote it so um, yeah. Okay, great. Well, we're going to show that clip. Before we do, we talked about some breaking news today that mm-hmm. we want to we wanna get your opinion on because it's kind okay. of momentous for America. On July 15th of this month, <laughs> Twinkies are coming back out. Like, <laughs> how do you feel about this? Well, how do you feel about this? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Give me some Twinkies. Oh, that's great. Now, and but because... You bought them out. I, you know, I don't know. They st- the, all the all the promotions saying they're coming out still say Hostess, so I don't know. They say they have okay, a longer I shelf life now. But they have a longer shelf life, so they'll be longer living Twinkies. Right, <laughs> so they will take forever to pass through your body. Well, de- oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see um, that people were selling boxes of Twinkies for like 100 bucks on eBay? Oh, that's crazy. What? Did you buy yeah. it? <laughs> well, 
like there's gonna be no more Twinkies in the like god of snack food. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know. Oh my word. Yeah. So uh, the question that we've been asking a lot in the chat, and that I'm sure everyone wants to know, is what is your first memory of the Twinkie? Do you remember eating your first Twinkie? First memory of the Twinkie. Wow. Um, I think I was at my grandma's. Mm hmm And, uh, like, ever since, she's always had, like, a box of Twinkies there for oh, me. Oh, wow. Spoiled grandchildren. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, it's, I, I have another cousin. He's my best friend. We're the same age. So mm -hmm. it was, like, you know, we always kind of have snacks when we go. That's right. Um, but I definitely think, I think my grandma exposed me to them or my family. At, I don't know. But uh, I can't really remember. I think I had them when I was really young. Yeah, that's they, right. I, I just know that it was good because I continued to eat them. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, thanks so much for joining us today. We're so glad you did. Thanks for yeah. running through that pouring rain and everything just to come and see us. Right. <laughs> Thank you for having me, guys. I appreciate it. No problem. It. All thanks, right. Spencer. Uh, we're going to show you the video, guys, of Spencer King talking about bullying, talking about his own experiences, and, you know, how it applies to you. Here we go. He looks Hey guys, so today I'm talking about bullying. Um, bullying is a major message point in my music. Uh, one of the kind was based around bullying and I also go to schools and talk about my bullying message and how it can affect kids. And so, you know, it seems like lately, every time we turn on the news, there's somebody new that's like committed suicide or has had some involvement in kind of bullying. And I also get tons of emails from kids that are saying, you know, I have to self-harm or they feel bullied at school and it just makes them feel like, what's the point in life anymore? And so, you know, I want you guys to realize, you know, I've also gone through bullying, being a singer and also being an athlete, but then taking that strong faith, um, it's kind of made me an outsider and my buddies from basketball would be kind of making fun of me because I'm a singer and it's just, it's a weird mixture and so... I know what it feels like to be bullied, but so does Jesus. And he says, though there's been trials and tribulations in your life, be cheerful because he's already gone through them. Jesus has already experienced those bullying, those be, those bullies and, you know, having somebody, you know, just not believe in you and treat you wrongfully. And so we should always keep hope. And it just, it makes me feel better knowing that somebody else has gone through something and they've overcome it. And, um, you know, Jesus also says that as Christians, you know, if they hate you, they've hated him first. And so as Christians, you know, we're hated because we're different and we, we act differently than maybe the normal person might and we're misfits. But, you know, we should be happy because Jesus was able to overcome it, so so can we. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's Philippians 4.13. So, you know, just remembering that. But I also get emails from fans saying that their best friends, you know, might say something mean about them or turn against them. And it's just like... Why? I thought they were my best friend. Why is he saying that? Why is she saying that? You know, Jesus also had this experience too. You know, he had the disciples as his best friends. He did everything with them. He went and traveled and talked with them and, you know, spread the word of God with them. And it was like almost every moment of every day he was with them. But then when it came down to it, they turned against him. They left him. They ignored him. And I mean, some of them even turned him into the police. And so it's, it's like... You know, we all have friends sometimes that might turn against you, but just got to remember that God went through it first. Jesus went through it first. And so it just gives us hope that we can overcome that. All right, everyone. Yeah, that was Spencer Kane. Awesome message about bullying. If mm -hmm. you guys are struggling with this, I mean, there are so many different forms of it. Uh, there's, you know, dating and how sometimes you can be bullied about who you're dating. You can be bullied by the person that you're dating, uh, family, Athletics. Family, even friends sometimes. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. I know it kind of cut him off there at the end, but um, if you guys want to talk to anybody about this, I mean, we're all here to help here mm -hmm. at Remedy. Uh, we have what we call Soul Medics. If you text the number 313131 and text the word Remedy, uh, you can talk to someone. We have people that are just there to listen and to talk to you and maybe help with your problem if you want it, or just listen if you want someone to you know just to just kind of hear you out <laughs> that's right that's right sometimes and, it's all you need yeah and spencer talks a lot about this because <clears throat> you heard him say it's something he has gone through personally and has had to deal with and it's a big message that he gives in lots of his songs so we encourage you by the music i mean mm -hmm. music is therapy sometimes i mean listen to his lyrics listen to you know the encouragement that it gives it's really awesome 
And uh, if you do, again, need to talk to anyone, feel free to text us. He has a bunch of other videos on our website and on his website, uh, spencerkingmusic.com, I believe. But feel free, go up on our on-demand windows, which is right above. There's a little tab. Just click, and the window will drop down. There's tons of on-demand videos that Spencer Kane has. Check them out. They're awesome. He's hilarious. If you can't tw- tell, I mean, his face when he's at Twinkies his is facial lit expressions. Up. Oh, he was so excited. Pretty sure that might be in a song soon. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully by my birthday. Face, yeah. <laughs> but check him out. He has a great videos, but he has some great messages too. He's been through stuff and he has no problem talking to people about stuff and it's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Uh, we have a few more breaks here coming up. Check out some Spencer Kane videos till we come back. Don't miss us. Join the chat. Uh, in the meantime, here's some Flyleaf.